Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to be having a look at a LEGO Galaxy Squad mod. This is not a mock, it's a mod of the Galaxy Squad Star Slicer from 2013. And I will have a look at the Blue Team's little uh, vehicle. Uh, later on in the video, here is the Star Slicer with the standard uh, color scheme for the insectoid vehicles. We got the red uh, bubble canopies there forming the eyes of the beast, and dark red mixed in with the uh, bright lime green color. And there's one of his slicers. If I can. And there is Redbug crawling out of the package. I like that little detail on the Galaxy Squad boxes. The uh, I got little insectoid characters crawling out of there. I, th I thought that was cute. That's really nice. This is the only set in, out of all of the Galaxy Squad sets that comes with Redbug. He was an exclusive. Um... This was the last set from the Wave 1 of Galaxy Squad in 2013 that I picked up. It was a Toys R Us exclusive, and I don't have a Toys R Us near me. I live kind of off the beaten path. I wasn't sure I was going to get it, but eventually I think I ordered it from Toys R Us online or something like that. But I eventually, so th so this was. Uh, I had all the other Galaxy Squad sets from Wave One, and I finally picked this one up. And much like the Warp Stinger and other insectoid vehicles, um, no love for the color scheme. The uh, the dark red canopies, uh, the dark red mixed in with with the the, the green. It, 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 it looks very ugly to me so um, I replaced the dark red with uh, white and lime green wherever I could and we're gonna be seeing the version 2 this is the version 2 of this model in 2014, I think I, I, I think I had another look at all of my Galaxy Squad stuff and did some more modifications to them. So there's two versions of this that you can see at Brick Shelf. Um, the first version that I modified from 2013 and the, the second one from 2014. So, um... This one has poseable legs. This is the, the second, the version 2. And it's a simple Technic device on the side there. You can pose the legs. The way they had it, let's see if I can show this. Now we can't see very well. They just had one of those uh, three way uh, Technic parts and the legs are, are stuck in place so that's a simple way to do it they can't move uh, we can move the, the forearms we move these forearms and the uh, claws here the slicers we can move those but we couldn't move the legs and I wanted to have poseable legs on this thing so it can look like it's uh, or something like that. I don't know how you make it walk, but uh, something like that. And whoop, whoa. Okay. He needs his four legs sticking out in front. That helps him to stand up. There we go. 
and in the back here I decided to place in the back and use this uh, this shell here this transparent purple thing I guess that they use to uh, um, capture people and I don't use that feature I also don't use the ball shooter up front there's the ball shooter and the capsule and the cocoon whatever you want to call it I did not use those so I thought he could use a uh, turret in back so I've got a mosquitoid driving the thing and then we got a bugoid back here and he has this little turret that can elevate and rotate in case galaxy squad flies around them and comes in from behind so that's this part here is is a is a mock it's my own design so in the back we've got uh, got the I placed the stickers on, on white pieces instead of the uh, dark red ones the dark red st stickers that, that doesn't bug me too much it's the it's it's the the dark red parts that are used on the on on the color scheme so this the sticker detail I think isn't all that bothersome to have these dark red stripes here and we got some oop got some dark red detail there yeah and the cockpit can it's it's just on a uh, Technic axle cross beam and it can fall back which I think is is a, is a pretty pretty good you can um, if you're playing with it and you want to have it get hit and and destroyed boom and then have it fall forward maybe yeah I don't think it's too bad to have this uh, attached that way so boom yeah that so there's a lot to talk about here uh, let's just let's just focus on the front for a moment here um, we got the, uh, the white replacing the dark red and he's got a control console there with the with the curvy pieces on the sides and a piece from the space warmer that's a printed printed part and I used a uh, this mosquitoid as our pilot and then these pretty green canopies at the time I was just replacing the red ones with a color that I like and later on I decided that the green canopies are are radiation projectors on all of the uh, insectoid vehicles and stuff they project green radiation that has a uh, minor healing and nutritional effect on insectoid people on the Zandari people so he's absorbing that there's also a shield over him although there isn't a shield projector anywhere maybe it's inside underneath him uh, there's a she he's, he's shielded so you can't try try to just take him out even though it looks like he's sitting up there just waiting to get shot or blown up with a missile or something yeah and much like the other insectoid vehicles uh, my thought was this thing needs some guns it's got the ball shooter up front that could be some sort of high-powered 
energy beam projector but I want to see some guns and missiles on this thing so I put these uh, same style of uh, pink energy cannon that I used on the uh, star hopper and they, they can they can be uh, posed up or down and then underneath we got some flick fire missiles right back here get this out of the way on either side and all I did was add a flick fire missile to it that that's a that the that's I didn't do any modifications to the design of this this arm structure here that, that technical was there so I'll just put a flick fire missile into it and those are the main weapons on on the mantis walker here and then in the back we've got the uh, the uh, point defense cannon and that has the, uh, the powerful style of uh, yellowish green laser Oops. go up a bit and it has the, the smaller pink energy turrets I built this myself and it is built sideways we've got some bricks that have the the peg on this this is what it's like straight up or is it like that we got some bricks that have the uh, pegs on the sides and then building sideways off of that with plates I had done that before on some uh, um, best lock stuff that I modified so why not do it with with the real thing with Legos let's see yeah that's the bottom so if we turn it straight up it's like that with a clip on the side holding the uh, pink energy cannons and we got some stickers from an alien conquest set that really don't fit they don't look like insectoid designs but uh, maybe I'll replace those with insectoid uh, control panel designs now that I have more stickers at the time I didn't have much to work with uh, in terms of stickers but over time I have acquired more uh, galaxy squad sets on s that were purchased on sale and I've gotten more sticker sheets and I bought lots of sticker sheets off of uh, sellers at Bricklink so I should probably uh, put some authentic insectoid uh, stickers there and he's got these little levers and this this uh, nice little green little windshield thing it's a holographic display that uh, tracks the position enemy position of enemy movements so I put this on there in place of the connector for the the cocoon and in 2014 I had another another look at this and I decided I wanted to have posable legs for it so this is just a simple Technic apparatus. There's not much to it. I well, I, I did renovate this this part of this this whole part of it so that I could fit a second crossbeam through there. They've only got one crossbeam going through there. It goes all the way through to the other side. Uh, so I did renovate it so that I could fit two crossbeams through there, and they're connected to the Technic. Uh, connectors and we got uh, two different styles of connectors holding it and then they're just uh, connectors with with the black pins 
simple but effective. I don't know why Lego um, didn't do something like this. It's it wasn't. I know I wouldn't say it was very difficult to do. And I don't th I don't think it was uh, all that difficult to figure out how to do this. It was. You know, we got poseable legs. How much cooler is that? And I think that is it for the star slicer. Now, my first thought, the first thought that came to mind when I finished uh, assembling and modifying this vehicle, my first thought that came to mind was the Battle of Hoth. This thing looks menacing. Look at that. Just, just imagine these things marching on a Galaxy Squad base. So, in my story, I'm going to have a one of the important uh, events in the story is these uh, mechanical monstrosities marching toward a Galaxy Squad base relentlessly assaulting everything in their path so that was that was my my thought about this 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 Galaxy Squad set this vehicle the Battle of Hoth you gotta have these guys and some other insectoid vehicles just relentlessly marching towards the base just like the uh, Imperial Walkers in Star Wars so that's that's a that's an important scene event in, in my in my story. I didn't have much of a story at the time, but I was like, yeah, the Battle of Hoth. I gotta gotta have um, gotta have something like that because it it looks so menacing coming at you, and it's got the. Uh, it's got the, are these these blades up front. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> and I think that is all of the. Uh, whoop. I think that is all of the modifications I have done to the uh, Star Slicer here. And again, this is this 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 is okay. I th at, at first, I, I was like, "What?" You know, you can push it back, but boom, pow, yeah, it, it's pretty good for it's, it, for play value. You know. Not bad. Here is Blue Team's little car vehicle from this set, and I did some modifications to that. Let's have a look at whoa. Let's have a look at that. Um, they used the yellow, uh, transparent yellow guns up front, and then the Technic pieces on the sides. And one of the things I did with my Galaxy Squad vehicles was to, especially for blue team, um, on green teams, they they have green bulbs because they're green team so that, so they shoot green lasers <coughs> excuse me sorry uh, orange team has uh, the obliterator with all those yellow laser cannons so I decided to go with you know a color coded laser system so blue team has uh, uses blue energy so I got these bulbs and they were hard to come by at the time got these blue bulbs and those are the tips of their laser <clears throat> those are the tips of their lasers and we got the the handguns on the side the rifle And I used I, I use these in the back because Galaxy Squad uses blue energy for all of their 
um, engine exhaust, engine engine parts. And this has a split function like all the Galaxy Squad vehicles. Let's see if I can get this off of here. There. And then blue, the, the blue robot sidekick can fly around in this. And Solomon Blaze can tool around in this. I like this um, the sticker that goes on the canopy. And if you if you look at it from the inside, I don't know if we'll be able to see this, but this is cool. Let's see if I can. If you look at it from the inside, it says wind, distance, and degree. Let's see if I can. I don't know if we can see that. And he's got a targeting and other displays. The level of detail put into the Galaxy Squad series in general is astonishing. They've got uh, the sticker goes on the outside of this transparent part, and then on the inside, logically for the guy, it, it's it's so it's it's printed backwards. That is cool. Now, let's see. Um, The only other modification I did, and it's easy to notice, I don't like it when they've got a canopy going up and it doesn't touch anything. It's just like over his head. And my sister just hates it when they have a windshield going up and it doesn't, doesn't meet up with anything. And we can see here the windshield is just kind of, just kind of goes up and it doesn't doesn't really meet up with anything it doesn't it just doesn't look all that great so I just took a few few white parts and built up the back a bit and you can fit the guy in there there's there's enough room to fit him in there not sure what I did with these uh, these guys I, I, I took them out and set them aside I'll show them in a different different video I'll show the characters but anyway um, I'm not sure how useful this this vehicle is to uh, Galaxy Squad's efforts. What I might do is modify it into a mining vehicle. The insectoids mine energy crystals and other stuff. Galaxy Squad has to uh, mine stuff as well. So I might that's uh, that's one thing, one idea that I might might do for this. But at the moment, I don't have much of a use for it. So, and there is Blue's rocket launcher on the back there. And that's about it for the Star Slicer. Great set. Really good set. When when the color scheme is modified. And these things are gonna march on my one of my Galaxy Squad bases and in, in, in the story and they're gonna give Galaxy Squad a hard time and they're gonna be relentless. Almost unstoppable. The weak part is where the legs are connected. Just a hint there. And that is my look at the Star Slicer. It's become one of my favorite insectoid vehicles from LEGO Galaxy Squad. Thank you for watching.